Kevin, what are we talking about now? Well, I wanted to do just a little overview on this DynaTorch CNC plasma table that I got. And just to kind of let you guys know the things I went through when I got this little puppy out of the box and thought, oh cool, let's fire it up. It's not that easy. Well really, the first thing you're gonna have to do uh, before you can start cutting something is you're gonna have to at least learn a, the basics of a CAD program. You know, it's computer-aided drawing because you need that file from the CAD program to be able to run it through the next piece of software to be able to take it out and put it to the table. I like to use GeoMagic. And I find that about the easiest for me to use. But there are also several free programs out there. One of them you know, off the top of my head is uh, Tinkercad or Google SketchUp. Both of those will output the file, you know, the correct file type that you need to go on to the next step. So even if you don't have a CNC table yet, you know, CAD is the first thing you have to learn before you can even start using one. So start now, you know, find a CAD program to play with, do basic designs on it like I started out with. This is how you make a box. This is how you make a tube. And all of a sudden, you'll see it starts to pick up from there and you start to learn more and more. So after you've been in your CAD program and you've designed whatever kind of part it is that you want to cut out and converted it over to a DXF file, so the next thing you're going to have to do is open up the DXF file that you saved and exported from your CAD program into what's called SheetCam. And really all you're going to use SheetCam for is to bring your drawing in from your CAD program. This is in sheet cam, this is where you go to put it on the, the plate, on the, the piece of plate steel where you want. This is where you go to put in all of your settings for the plasma cutter, so it knows what amperage to run at. For the table, so it knows how thick of a piece of metal it is, how fast you want it to go, you know, do you want it inside, outside of the line. You know, this is where you set all your parameters. And then you just save it out of here into a different, fo fo a different format, and then we take it out to the table. And then once you've done all of your, your work on sheet cam, you know, in sheet cam, where you've put in all your parameters, you've run your processor, you've got the file all converted, you've got it ready to go to the table. Now you have to come out to the other computer, and then this is the DynaTorch host program, if you will, that actually talks to the cutting table, that makes everything actually work. So you'd come out and just put your file in the ear. A couple more settings you have to play with over here to get the machine ready to go to work. I like to run the, the, the dry run. You know, it's got a function where it just will make the motions, it just won't do the cut. That way you know it's gonna fit on the sheet, the sheet's in the correct space, everything's ready to go. Then you come back, click on one button, click cut, and you're going to work. So that's just a basic overview of what it takes from the time you get it out of the box till the time you can finally start to cut. I'll go into more detail in future videos on each of the sections, but for right now, time to go back to work. Time for you guys to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all next time. But there are also plenty of... Uh,